This is 26-year-old Ludwig Ogren sitting in a streamer room in the late hours of a Saturday night. The hour before, he decided to practice chess on his Twitch stream for the upcoming chess tournament PogChamps 4. Ludwig is aware that his actions are being recorded on a camera. In three seconds from now, he will read the words typed in chat by a chess backseater, and at that exact moment, you will see a noticeably remarkable switch in his demeanor. Uh, all right, boys, I'm done. I'm not going to play any more chess on stream. You guys are an absolute sack of shit whenever I boot this game up. <laughs> I forgot why I quit, and it's because Twitch chat is annoying. So on on that one, boys. It would come as no surprise that Ludwig had a negative reaction to the ignorant, unintelligent, and usually terrible moves suggested by backseaters in his chat that think they are better at the game. In this video, we'll be solving the backseating problem and preventing a situation like this from happening again. Hey everyone, and welcome back to a new video. Today I'll be talking about how I made a Twitch bot that prevents people from backseating chess streamers. But first, what is a Twitch bot? If you somehow don't know, Twitch is a website where people can stream themselves doing mostly anything from softcore porn to advertising hardcore gambling to children. Viewers can interact with the streamer by typing in the chat, and a Twitch bot is a program that can monitor these chat messages and also send messages themselves if programmed to. The most common use for a Twitch bot is automatic moderation of chat by detecting messages with bad words and timing the user out, as well as responding to certain chat commands so viewers can interact with the bot if they want. This is really cool and all, but how do we get the bot to see what messages are actually being sent in the chat? Twitch allows bots running on a server to connect to the Twitch IRC network, which lets us send and receive messages in specific Twitch channel chats. This requires an authentication token provided by Twitch, the username of your Twitch account, and the channels in which you want to monitor. Twitch then provides us with an event handler that will trigger whenever a message appears. And with this, our bot knows whenever a message is sent in chat, it knows what the contents of the message is and what the context is. The context being who sent that message, if they're a moderator or not, etc. And to show this in action, my bot is currently looking for any message in my chat that says ping and it will respond with pong. So now that we know what messages are sent in our chat, we can work on identifying which messages are backseating the streamer or not. Backseat messages follow certain patterns, and a method for matching patterns in strings is known as a regular expression, or regex for short. A regular expression is a sequence of characters that specifies a search pattern. They are notoriously difficult to read and understand if you didn't write the pattern yourself, but a simple example is the one-word pattern that looks like this. This pattern will return a match on any string that contains the word pain. A more complicated example is this pattern that I stole from Wikipedia. This pattern will match any two spaces, but only if they occur directly after a period and uh, before an uppercase letter. It's super easy to read and understand that this regex does that, but regular expressions are perfect for this problem, as chess move notation has many different variations, but it still follows a specific set of rules that we can easily articulate with a regular expression. Chess notation, or algebraic notation, is the standard method for recording and describing moves in a game of chess. A move is denoted by the name of the piece, the square it moved to, an x if it captured a piece on that square, and so on. To begin constructing our regular expression for matching algebraic notation, we can start with the names of the pieces. The shorthand for each piece is N, B, K, Q, R, or nothing if it's a pawn. So in regex speak, we want to match zero or more of those shorthand piece names within a word boundary. The backslash B defines a word boundary, the brackets means one of anything in the list, and the question mark means it'll still match if nothing is there, which covers the pawn case. Next, we can tack on the x for capturing so that it'll still match if there's an x there. Now, we need to match the chess tile, 
tiles are in the range a to h and 1 to 8, but this must be present in the string in order for it to be proper notation. This looks like so when we tack it onto the expression. The 1 inside the curly brace means it will only match one instance of this, so if there's like two a's in a row then it is not a match, and this pattern will now detect any chess move in a string, but will ignore anything else, and it is also really cool looking at the same time, which is a bonus. And to show it off in action, the bot will throw a flag in my terminal whenever I send a chess move in the chat, but it will ignore anything else. Alright, so now that we can detect a traditional chess move in chat, we can work on actually stopping backseaters, but unfortunately the average chess backseater isn't actually smart enough to understand algebraic notation. So this is why I've added two other regular expressions, one that detects piece names and their plural component, and another that detects common backseat keywords such as these. And when checking a, a message for backseating, I have arbitrarily decided that any message that contains algebraic notation, two or more backseat keyword matches, or one piece name and one backseat keyword, is a backseating message. If the message has been determined to be sent by a backseater, the bot will then time out the user and prevent their message from appearing in chat. And I would show you it in action. But instead I'll show you some results, since that's easier to do, as I'm not a large streamer yet. Alright, unscripted Ace Rolla here, giving you the results of the Twitch bot. I uh, took a long time to make this video, because I've been waiting for Ludwig to stream chess again, so I could run the bot on his chat, but unfortunately he just hasn't streamed chess in like two weeks. So instead, I used the bot on Cutie Cinderella's chat, who I thought would be a good runner-up since people really like backseating women, but uh, unfortunately her chat is much nicer, so there's fewer backseater messages here than there would be in Ludwig's chat. Also, I did notice that her mods do time out people who are backseating, so a lot of messages that would be flagged for some reason don't get picked up by the bot when a moderator times out their message. I'm not sure what's going on there. But either way, anytime the Twitch bot would find a message, it would output it to this file. It would say who the user was, what their message was, and then um, what was flagged by the bot. So the first message is backseating keywords, the second list is piece names, and then this list right here is uh, chess notation if it's present. So this Errol Yerkin guy said knight e4 is a line. Actually, it's not a line. You Nobody asked, bro. But scrolling down to the bottom here, 292 divided by 2 is what, like 140... Six backseat messages that were flagged during like a three hour chess stream by Cutie. And I mean, scrolling through, a lot of them do look like actual chess move suggestions. So I think the bot is quite the success here. Good luck, Cutie and E4. That's not how her name is spelled. With a little more confidence, she could have played knight b6. Bro, no one asked. But anyways, these are the results of the bot. I'm pretty happy with it. One thing that was really funny is that the bot flagged this message from a user explaining what backseating is. So the bot would have timed the person out for this, which um, is unintended. But, you know, it is what it is. To conclude, do I think this bot will actually be used or help with anything? No. While it does stop backseaters, it also prevents any and all discussion of the game in the chat, which seems kind of counterintuitive. But was it fun? Yeah, a little bit. This video probably isn't that exciting, but it was a fun side project that I wanted to make a video on since chess is going to be trendy for a bit in the coming weeks. 
Uh, if you do watch Twitch, you can check out my Twitch channel at twitch.tv forward slash acerola underscore T as I stream every Monday at 5 p.m. PST. Right now I'm streaming progress on my current project, which you'll have to check out the stream if you want to find out what it is. If you don't watch Twitch, please subscribe down below so you can know when I release another video. And actually, please subscribe even if you do watch Twitch. But I've got to go now, so thank you for watching, and have a great day.